This will be part one of a DIY tree branch lamp. We'll be using natural jute twine and a beach ball that's 20 inches. We'll be using this all-purpose glue. You'll also need a lamp wire and we'll be using this concrete mix by Quick Right, which is fast setting. It hardens in 20 to 40 minutes and you don't have to mix it. You'll also need some type of bucket or mold to put your branch in and a bucket to mix your glue in and also a wire is optional. Lastly, you'll need some type of tree branch. I've had this tree branch for about five, six years and I found it in New York and I brought it all the way to Chicago with me and just been holding on to it because I knew when I saw it, I wanted to make a lamp with it. I just think it's so beautiful and nicely textured. But I wanted to also show you all that you don't need a big branch. I made these four years ago and you can use small branches. I did this back when Little Gravy was my photographer. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to show you all that this branch already has cement on the bottom because my first attempt with cement was a complete fail. I used the same brand of concrete but just a different type. It was ready to use one and the branch just completely did not hold. It cracked automatically. My second attempt, I used the same brand but a different type of concrete. This concrete is made for holding post outside for fences and I was really pleasantly surprised that it had rocks in it I just did not expect that but I really love that <laughs> my first time I put the branch in first and then poured the concrete on top and this time I did the concrete first and then I adjusted the branch to how I wanted it to stand up Next, I just added more concrete and filled it all the way to the top. I made sure that I got all the way around and underneath the branch so that it would hold this time. Next, I added the water in and I love this feature because you don't have to mix it. The water penetrates down all the way to the bottom. I was a little unsure if it would make it to the bottom but I added some more sand to the top to kind of soak it all up and then added some more water and you really just have to wait a few minutes because I did start to see it go down it just takes a little bit of time but once it does it'll look something like this and then I just left it to dry and worked on the next portion of the lamp this is the light pendant part and you'll need your glue and we're just gonna fill up the bucket with the glue and also add some water. I added about half the amount of water to glue and I just kind of eyeballed it. I was just making a guess of how much I would need and you can always add more glue and more water as you go along. Next you'll want to add some rope to your glue and you want to make sure that your glue gets saturated so that it sticks on to your ball. Now for the fun, messy part. You'll wanna take the end of it, and what you wanna do is find the top of the ball, because this is where your pendant will go inside of it. So you wanna always either mark a circle, this one already has a circle, and you don't wanna go over that circle with the string. You also can do it to the bottom, but I didn't. I closed up the bottom and just left the top open. You'll see as I go along what I'm talking about. Now you're just gonna wrap the ball in different directions, just gluing and wrapping. That's the whole technique to this. When you run out of rope, all you have to do is gather some more Make sure you add some glue to the string already attached to the ball and just dip it back in the glue and you'll keep doing this process until you're finished. Thank you. 
when it's to your liking you want to make sure before you cut the string that you still have your hole at the top where your pendant's going in and you're just going to cut the string and you're going to find a spot to tuck it in add some extra glue to it and then you're just going to tuck it underneath the extra string and it will glue in place and it will be perfect next we'll leave it to dry I'm gonna just put it on top of this bucket I also placed a fan in front of it so it would dry faster and I rotated the ball every 15 minutes so all the sides were equally dry about 30 minutes later I came back to the branch and it was really solid so I ended up trying to hand pull it out and that didn't work so I got this saw and just cut it out and this is what it looked like it was totally dry which was perfect I gently pressed on the ball to make sure that the rope easily would come off and I knew it was dry I mean I left it for five hours and it was totally dry so I just got my utility knife and I just started putting holes in it to take all the air out then I started to pull it through the pendant hole and I used some scissors to cut the ball just so it would be easier to pull it out so I would let the air out pull it and then cut it until all of the pieces was removed from the pendant and keep in mind you can use a balloon instead of a ball and you also could leave the bottom portion bigger so that you don't have to use scissors you can just pull it out the bottom but I closed mine completely and just left the top open for the pendant it's optional, it's your choice, it's your lamp. But this is what it looks like and I thought it came out really pretty. Baby gravy agreed. <laughs> so this is the optional part with the wire. I was trying to figure out the best way to hang the pendant on the branch. Um, but someone interrupted me for a popsicle break. <laughs> So this is the look I was trying to go for the height you can adjust this you don't have to use a wire you can wrap it another way um, but I was trying to figure out how I would hold it in place so I just added the hanger wire I made it into two pieces by bending it and I wanted it to be able to remove it so that when I wanted to change the light bulb I could so this is the way I did it. I put the pendant in between the two wires and you'll see me pull it through the rope. And it is really secure this way but also easy enough that when I need to change the light bulb I can. Next, I decided to drill two holes on the top so that the two wires could fit securely in it. And I made the holes deep enough that it could be pushed in with no issues and still hold it so somebody hits the pendant and won't knock over. And here is the end result of the lamp. I just love how it turned out. It's so artsy and creative and beautiful. And this is part one. For part two, I'll be adding a stain on the wood and also a coating to preserve the wood. I'll also be sanding down the cement portion to make it a bit more smoother and finishing it off. And I think it'll be amazing so I hope you guys give this a try it's easy enough to do even with smaller branches and definitely like this video and subscribe
What do you think of the lamp? Bye, bubble boy. Bye, bubble boy. I made it, so I say it's great. You made the lamp? Yes, I did. Wow, I'm blind. <laughs> Team Gravy, making things easy.